figure out a quicker way to add something to your loops that you have currently in your new dot loop portal. This is not something new to us. It's something that's been available for some time. However, everyone may not have caught on to where exactly it's located at. So if you're looking at your portal here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go into your My Transactions. You're going to go into your Transaction Home. And you're going to wait for that to load up. Now, under your new dot loop area, this is actually located right here under templates. You're going to click the templates tab and you're going to go over here to inbox. Inbox, this is where things come into you that you've scanned to yourself. If you view right in this area right here, it says upload templates by emailing them to this email address. Generally, it's your first name dot your last name at upload.loop.com. So you want to take that address there, save it into your smartphone, write it wherever you're going to remember it at, save it somewhere so that if you get an attachment while you're out and about running around and you know you need to upload that into your dot loop, you can simply forward it to this email address right here and then come in later and pull it in from your inbox right here. So I'm going to show you an example of how we do this. Here I have a fax message that came in. I know that it's attached right here. I know that it's a PDF because it says so. I'm simply going to go over here on my Gmail. I'm going to forward it. I'm going to put in my address that I'm forwarding it to. So in my case, it's russell.bryant at upload.loop.com. I'm just going to send it. I don't need to put any other notes in there, any other explanations. As soon as I see that it's been sent, I should receive a text message on my phone or an email telling me that something has been uploaded into the system. I may simply need to go out and refresh and that should be there immediately after. Okay, If I go into my inbox, I should see that that is now there. I can click the document to make sure it's actually there and view it. Okay that is the correct document. If I go back, I can take the document right here before I move it over. I can rename it. So I know that this is part of a home inspection. So I can say home inspection and save it there. Now the next step I'm going to do is go over here to the side. I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy to. This is going to copy it to a loop. So I'm going to click copy to. It's going to say copy as a flat PDF. We do want that to be as a flat PDF. If you want to be able to change it and add extra signatures, you will have to do that as um, non-flat. So we're going to save it as a copy of a flat PDF. We're going to add it to a loop that we already have currently existing. It's going to show the loops that I currently have available. For instance, right now I'm going to save it into the new VSF loop in that folder and I'm going to copy it over. Just as simple as that, it's been moved over. If I go back to my loops, let them refresh, go into my Nuvia stuff loop. There's my home inspection report that I just sent to myself without having to go through all of the hassle of scanning, saving, emailing, saving to my desktop, pulling over to the loop, all ready to roll. Simply go back at any time to any of those documents that you have there. You can delete them as they start to fill in the queue and remove them and pull them out. Just that simple. If you're going to do things this way, it'll be a lot easier on you, it'll be a lot faster on you. So don't forget, your email address is right there, russell.bryant at upload.loop.com, or in your case, it should be your first dot your last name at upload.loop.com. Hope this video helps you tremendously. If you have any questions, concerns, or general hassles, make sure you ask me before the meeting, or text me, or email me. I'd love to help. Anytime between now and then, Talk to you on Thursday. Hope you guys have a great meeting.